today we blind off. Welcome back to Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. I'm Steven. I'm Alec. And today we run another episode of The Blend Off. The Blend Off. But before we get into that, please do us a favor if you have not already, like and subscribe. We appreciate your support. Let's get back into it. Yeah, so The Blend Off is a series where me and Alec both finally select a bottle and then we blend it, them together in our own unique ratios and then we put those blends up against each other in a one-on-one -on -one fight to see who is the better blendologist. It's not a word. I know that's not a word. It never will be. It is what it is. Anyway. <clears throat> but we're going to go ahead and start off this week's blend off with your selection of the blend, Alec. What bottle did you pick? Me? Yes. Me? You. Yes. Oh, me. Uh, I went uh, with the tried and true always fun wild turkey one. My personal favorite, I don't think it'll let me down. Yeah, which means this kind of ended up becoming a like budget blend. Budget blend. Budget blend off because I also blindly chose Buffalo Trace um, just because we did a review of Buffalo Trace recently. And uh, at that time, the bottle was like really empty. So I was like, oh, let's just kill it with the blend off. Um, kill it with the so, blend off. So yeah. Blended Buffalo Trace and Wild Turkey 101. This is We're going to see who makes a better blend. Don't know what our percentages are anymore because we did it a week ago, but we're going to go ahead and start off with what's in glass A. Hey. On the nose. Ooh, it's like mm. candy spices. Oh, wait, you, know, you ever get like those red, um, that candy? It's like the red chewy, like they're like uh, kind of like bumpy on the outside, but then they're like a nut on the inside. Um, gosh, I can't think of the Not name. Not a right. clue what you're talking about. No, they're so good too. Um, I was going with like a very, very subdued, like uh, hot tamale. No, no, no. It's like something a hot else. tamale that's like been sitting in like water. So it's like lost all the coating and it's just like mostly like the centered candy, but it's still slightly spicy. That's disgusting. I mean, yeah, it wasn't intended to Oh, but no. yeah, it's like it's like very candied yes, sweetness. It's like yes. it's like a candy sugary like vanilla sweetness and like cinnamon. Yes. See, I get like yeah, roasted nuts. Okay, I can see that. Like a cinnamon roasted nut. But that's what I'm saying. These candies that I'm talking about, they're literally a roasted nut, and then on the outside, it's a cinnamon like coating. Literally, have no idea what you're talking about. It's ah, uh, I can't. Uh, I, I'm gonna put. It. Someone put it in the comments, please, please. Well, whatever. Okay. But yeah, it's it's very like it's a very yeah. spicy candy basically. Yeah. But it's like a really nice yeah. spicy candy. But let's go ahead and get on the palate. Not as much Ooh. candy, but still like a nice. It's like, like a creamy vanilla, vanilla nutty. fluffy marshmallow with like some like nuttiness. Your nuttiness. Still like. On like the last like I would say quarter of it, there's a little bit of cinnamon, a but little. it only shows up in like the last quarter of the palette. You know what's nice though? This has a finish. Mm-hmm. It actually has a decent finish. Yeah, not not no like astringent parts that are super no. aggressive. It's just overall mm. pretty nice. I do kind of like that spiky cinnamon end though. Yeah, like it's, right it's, at the end, yeah, like it, a little bit of like. Yeah, you know, mm, it's good. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get on to B. A's looking pretty good so far, I'm not gonna lie, this budget blend. But budget blend do do, you know. Yeah, do do. Yeah. Ooh. Very similar, holy crap. Mm. This one, not so much candy, but like a... Yeah, this one's like a little darker. It's yeah. like darker and spicier. Yes, but there's still like a nice bit of like a apple, pear, cherry, kind of like, like a, almost like as if you were to dry out fruit and then like kind of turn it into, um, like a powder and then like flick that. Yeah, like on like top. there's some pears on A, whereas B, there's a lot more fruits. Yeah. Mm. But like you also lose a lot of that sweetness. Like it became fruitier and spicier, whereas this was more candied. Yes, this was like straight out of the, you know, sugar aisle. My favorite. The palate super nutty and Oaky. Yeah. This that was is weird. This one almost tastes just like wild turkey. 
Yeah, but, there's but like, it's it's not as creamy as Wild Turkey either. No, no, the ending is very different. Yeah, it's, it's very got, it's very dark. Yes, it's like dark, nutty oak. Yeah, but it's got like a a weird kind of not stringent oak, but like no, it's like, not astringent. It's just dark. Yeah, but it's like yeah, like, like, like it's it's thick. robust. Yes. Yeah. yeah, like the nose. I'm a big fan of the nose. Pow, it's just like. Harsh. It's very one-dimensional. Yeah. It's like an oaky nuttiness. Yeah. It's it has like essentially no creamy marshmallowy vanilla, right. which is weird because I get creamy marshmallows on Wild Turkey 101, and Buffalo Trace is essentially like sweet creamy vanilla. Right. So again, we're like weird stuff happens in yeah, blends. Yeah. Like it just kind of. It went away, and yeah. that's I don't it. Just know. it like it's almost like the the like the creamy vanilla collapsed in on itself, and it lost it. Like yeah. it just like it was just too much like fighting all at once, so it collapsed in. Man, on that's itself. a bummer. So it's not a great nose too. Yeah, a great nose. So I'm gonna go out and say palettes. They're both not equal noses. I would say I like them equally. Yes, but yeah, I think. Better, uh, better nose, better palate. Yeah. So I think between both of us, we can agree. A. A. Alrighty. And so A is the winner of this week's blend off, and that means Alec takes the cake. Alec's blend was three fifths Buffalo Trace and two fifths Wild Turkey, whereas mine was three fifths Wild Turkey. Two fists Buffalo Trace. I'm a little disappointed. I thought going a little heavier with Wild Turkey 101 and lightlier on Buffalo Trace would end a little bit better because Wild Turkey it's nuttier, but it has that like little creamy like seg section on it where I think like the creamy sweet vanilla ness of Buffalo Buffalo Trace would have like accented that where it just it didn't. It just okay. like the sweetness collapsed in on this. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Okay. No, yeah. I got you. No, I, I agree, but um Ooh, this one's good. I don't know if I like it better than like Wild Turkey 101, but it's like it's this nice like so you added 40% Wild Turkey 101 and 60% Buffalo Trace. Correct. Me. And like that just made like a super sweet candy spice and yes. it's but not it's, overpowering it's pretty wonderful i'm not gonna lie yeah now it's drink. a little bit too sweet you, okay so for my daily drinker which is basically the point of both of these but correct but you want to know where i actually got my like mapping from i thought that but like wild turkey 101 which is my daily drinker is always great but there are times when i will have it it's got like a little bit of like a it just becomes too much. And so I thought mixing a little bit of the Buffalo Trace with Wild Turkey 101 and leaning lighter on Wild Turkey 101 might give something because usually I'm the other way around. I'm usually like, man, I wanna hit it hard, hit it hard. This worked out. All right. So yeah, if you're gonna blend Buffalo Trace and Wild Turkey 101, we strongly suggest lean heavier on Buffalo Trace. Um, I'm not gonna lie, three fists, Buffalo Trace Two Fist Wild Turkey 101 is a pretty solid blend. Pretty it's, solid. it's pretty sweet, but solid blend nonetheless. But that's gonna be a wrap for this video, folks. Please do us a favor, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you thought about this video and let us know what you think about this blend matchup. And please, if you are watching, give us two bottles. Any two bottles you can think of that are in our arsenal. But give us two bottles, because we are blending for the sheer fun of it, and it is a grand time, so. Yeah, you know, we'll crowdsource a blend. Absolutely. As and long as it's a cheap blend. Yes. Ish. Cheaper, cheaper-ish blend. Ish, you know, whatever. But check out the Instagram and the Facebook. All of our episodes are there. You can find plenty of content. And in the meantime, if you think that there's something we did wrong, something we did right, or something we did tipsy, make a comment on it, okay? Yeah, but that's a wrap for us. Cheers, y'all. We'll see you later.